California previously without trade. They can either produce 100 California rolls or 50 Mongolia beef, or anywhere in between. As represented by this PPF, Production Possibility Frontier of California. Under our assumption of preference for variety, production points without trade, and the consumption point without trade ended up to be this middle point. So they get both rolls and beef to eat. Now, under this trade in the international market where one roll can trade for one beef, would California still want to produce as this middle point, or would another point be better for California? Let's consider a few possibilities. In particular, California can produce as this possibility A, where they only make 100 rows, or this possibility B, where they make 50 rows and 25 beef, the middle points, as before. Or California can produce as its possibility C of 50 beef only. So possibility A and B and C, where A is 100 rows, B is 50 rows, plus 25 beef, and C is 50 beef. Now, when A can trade in the international markets, then possibility A, the 100 rows, in the international market, that's equivalent to 100 beef, right? So they can bring in all the rows to the international market for 100 beef if they, if they want. Option B is 50 rows and 25 beef. Under this exchange rate, one row equal to one beef. So the 50 rows is equivalent to, is equivalent to 50 beef plus the 25 beef, that's equivalent to 75 beef. And option C is 50 beef. When we convert ABC into the units of beef, we notice that A corresponds to 100 beef, B corresponds to 75 beef, and C corresponds to 50 beef. So production point A is actually the best for California. As a result, after trade at this exchange rate, it's no longer profitable for California to produce at this middle point B. Producing at point A is actually a better alternative because it corresponds to the most equivalent units of beef under this exchange rate here. As a result, California is going to change their point of production after trade to point A. And we're going to label that point of consumption production after trade as production with a superscript T, where T stands for point of production. 